Welcome to the channel, Cooking with Chef Buka. Please don't forget, subscribe, share, like, tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's get into it. Hi, welcome back to the channel, doing what we do best, cooking with Chef Buka. You know we do all day, every day. Make it happen. Chop King back in the house. Do it in favorite, you know what I'm saying? VIP style. We're getting out of my comfort zone. So today we decided we're gonna make some sushi. Simple, you know, easy to work with. As long as you have all the ingredients. The technique, how to make it is easy. I'm gonna show you the simplest, the easiest way to do it. Let's check my ingredients out. Blessings. So yeah, all right, at it again. Checking the ingredients out. We have sriracha. This is gonna be for the spicy mayo. We got mayonnaise, you know. I got a little bit of this um, fukaraki. You know, it's just like seaweed, little bit of salt, you know what I'm saying? Little bit of sesame seed. I got this five Japanese spice, tugarashi. That's gonna go into making the sauce. Here we got cucumbers. Avocado, we call it pear in Jamaica. Um, here I got sushi su. This is the liquid to season the rice. Okay, all right. And here I got premium sushi grade rice, which is a more like a more bigger grain rice to work with, you know. And normally you wash this five times to get you know some of the starch out of it because it's very starchy, but still you're gonna have a lot of starch after washing it five times. So washing it five times, so. One cup of sushi rice to one and quarter cup water. Two cup of sushi rice to, you know what I say? Two and quarter. I try to put a little bit extra water, but not a lot of extra water because this cook easily and you don't need that to happen. So I got um, nori sheets right here. Here I got my tuna right here. Get from, um, not Dartmoor, there's another place in Cardina where I buy this. I don't remember the name of the place, but. We are advertising for them, so let's get into setting up the ingredients. So what we're gonna do now first, we're gonna make the dressing. So I got a little bit of the seaweed, sesame seed mixture right here. Um, I'll put mayonnaise. You can use the Japanese mayonnaise, but this is just regular mayonnaise I'm using right now. It's gonna make a spicy mayo. Right there. I'm just doing it to taste, not measurement. You know, because I like mine to be a little spicy, but if you want, you can put a cup of mayo, you know what I'm saying, two pinch of tugarashi spice in there because it's kind of spicy. Um, one teaspoon of the fukaraki and three tablespoons of sriracha, okay? To make that. If you want, you can add a little bit of sesame oil to yours, but I'm not putting any sesame oil in mine. You will know when if you need more sriracha and right, from the color color wise. Color wise, this look excellent right here. And it look real good. Normally I mix it, let it sit in the fridge. You know, just like that for a while. So I mix that, let it stay here. Um, this sushi soup, normally I keep it in the fridge, let it stay cold too. Cause when you go on the warm rice, it's gotta you know be cold to kind of cool the rice down as well. All right, so um, cucumber. So let's make a vegetable. We're gonna make a spicy roll. We're gonna make a vegetable roll. So normally, what I do, cut like that. Cut like that. Remove this. Normally, try to do this on the counter so you don't cut yourself. I show you do it on the counter, just like this. You know, get out that all of it. This one, two, three. All right, just like that. That's trash. Left over, left over. So let's just set up the garnish over here. All right, that's good. Avocado, same thing. You want to cut avocado just like that. Pop them open. Avocado is good. And now when we cut that in that, then peel him. Peel it like that. And then just cut it in three. It's gonna go into the roll as well. So let's put the avocado. And this together, do this as well. 
two, one, two, three. That's it. So when we come back, we're gonna get into washing the rice, getting the rice on the counter. Because as we say, the rice take 15 to 20 minutes to cook. What I normally do with the rice is I wash it five times, strain it off, put the so this is one cup, so I'm gonna put one and quarter cup water and put it on the stove, let it come to a boil for 10 minutes, then reduce it in flames, turn it down, let it sit for another 10 minutes, and then the rice is perfectly ready. You don't need to be more than that. When we come back, we're gonna get into rice and all of that, okay? So alright, let's get into it now. So it's tuna right here. You can cut it a few different ways. You know, I try to buy a piece which is don't have so much vein in there, it's better to get a piece with not so much vein inside of it. Cut better. A little bit more expensive without the vein, but cut better too as well. Silver vein. So what I want to cut it up like that. You don't have to even cut it like that. You can just make it whole too as well. Depends on the way you want it. And try to make sure everything when you're working with the fish stay cold as possible, alright? Yeah, very cold. You don't want it too, you know. So I'm gonna keep these two pieces to show you a different way to make to make it again, you know. Let's do four. You don't have to cut them fine again, cut them, cut them long enough, put them in there long. Or you can cut them fine. So we're gonna work with that. And we're gonna get when we come back. Uh, you know what? We're not even going anywhere. Let's get into the rice so you guys can see the technique of the rice. I'm gonna put this piece of fish right, fish right here in the fridge. It's in the sink to get washed. So it's gonna be going in the fridge. Right here. Let's stay right here. Just keep cold a couple seconds. Alright, so let's get into the rice. So no, I got you need a wooden spatula or stick, whatever you call it. You really need a wooden bowl, but I don't have a wooden bowl at the moment, so I'm gonna work with this plastic bowl. So yeah, so rice cook, 20 minutes, you know, 10 on the regular, and 10 low flames and let it do what it does. So I'm just gonna take some of it out here. I'm not gonna do all of it. Put it in a bowl. Okay, we're gonna have to mix this. While we're adding the sushi to liquid, we're going to mix this together and make sure that everything is on point and everything is even distributed with the dressing that goes on it. So, we'll come over here a little bit better. The bowl is kind of bit deep. Normally, you don't do that what you saw me doing a while ago. So, what I do a little bit of this to make sure it distributes and don't go on everywhere the rice. And on the rice, got to be a little bit warm when you're doing it. So, when you do that now, you want to go sideways. Like that. While you're folding it, yeah, this smells real good. Sideways while you're folding it. Just like that, yeah. Sideways like that. Make sure so there is no lump in there too as well. You know, you don't want no lump in there. So, uh, like I did definitely have enough sushi soup when I put in there. But again, to make the sushi soup, I'm going to give it the ingredients. You guys listen carefully. If you want to know it, you can just leave a message on the page and I'll, I'll put it on. Normally, I don't put the recipe up on the page, but whatever you guys need, I'll make it happen. So, yeah, that's it's good. Let's taste it and see. Yeah, it's nice. Perfectly seasoned. Right, so that's good. So, it's going to be staying right here. I'm going to get a cover and cover it up. When I come back, we're gonna get them to start making the rolls. Cause we don't wanna make it stressed out and look too long, okay? All right. All right, so. So say we have regular nori right here. And I say, sushi nori. It's just roasted seaweed. Um, I got a little bit of wasabi that I make right here. No, let's get my wasabi powder. Gonna go with garnish, but normally eat that with it. If you like saw, you can put some saw on it too. I got a little bit of pickled ginger right here too. So, what we're gonna do now, normally, the real way to make this is 
Let's make a few, okay? We're gonna make a few. So what I normally do is get this, break it in two, okay? This side all the way up. So break it in two like that. You can hear it snap, you know, it's crispy. You know what I'm saying? Because it's roasted. Look at that, come on, it's real easy. So, side up. So what I normally do is just grab a little bit of rice, like this. Maybe we can make like three or four. And this glove is a non-stick glove. It's not, the rice not gonna stick on it. Use the rice to, you know, dab up the seaweed. And then just, don't like that. We start from the corner first, okay? Make sure all the corner is filled out. Because when the corner is full out, it give you a better roll. And this is enough rice for it. You can just spread it out all over until, you know, you don't want to put too much rice as well. And if you feel like you need more, you're gonna put a little tap more on it. But I said non-stick gloves, so the rice ain't gonna be sticking on this glove too much. So that like we need a little bit more for this corner right here. And you try to fill it out as much as you can. The edges is very important to get the edges because the edges is make it shape properly and look nice, like you know, you know what you're doing. Yeah, so fill that over. So I'm gonna make a vegetable one right now because and then we're gonna go back and then start making a tuna one, all right? So avocado. You can roll it with your hand without this. The thing is, you know, roll it like that. But it's better to roll it with this, so. I know what it do is just, you know, roll it like that. Simple and easy. Then if you wanna fold it proper way, like a rectangle, right? So push down on the side. Don't push down too much to get that shape that you want it. Okay? And if you want a little bit of seaweed on it, like, you know, that thing that they put out in the other place, get a sprinkle it with this. And this is where it, it meets right here. So this side always on the bottom like that. Always on the bottom. Alright, so that's a vegetable. Let's make a spicy one, alright? Grab the tuna from the fridge. Say we're keeping it in the fridge before so it doesn't um, get too hot sitting outside. Alright, so spice man is here. Let's get this now. Like this. Same, same thing. We'll spread it out. Even the distribution. And this one does get um, tuna. You can either make the tuna spicy or you can put the spicy Mayo on top of it after you cut the roll. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just put it on top. You know? Yeah, I'm hungry. I eat all of the vegetable ones with avocado and cucumbers. Yeah. Let's just pull out the edges. Just like that. Next time we're gonna get in some sushi, we're gonna make some different kind of roll. Some California roll, or shrimp tempura roll. But this is just the first start, you know? Trying to introduce you guys to this kind of technique. Yeah, so, what I'm gonna do, get some of this. Make sure you don't put too much inside of it, yeah? This is just gonna be the tuna alone in here. And then, you know, I can, put, I can make one of the spices you guys want. Or if you wanna make it spicy, just, Put some spicy sauce on it, but I'm just gonna do the tuna alone right here. So, just like that, you know, fold, tuck underneath, you know, and then fold like that, and then you shake. Huh? And this is a sushi mat I'm using right now. You see that perfectly. As we talked about the edges, you see that I missed a piece of that, so the edge didn't come as perfect I want it to be, but it's okay. All right, so. This is what it kind of look like when you finish set it up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut a few right now. You know what I'm saying? Let's set up a nice plate so you guys see what it look like. When we come back, we're gonna get into that. All right, blessings. So yeah, back at it again, do what we do best. So I'm gonna cut these up. Make sure when you put it on your board or whatever, your board is a little bit damp. This is my sushi knife right here. Very expensive knife. Had it since I was in Boston. I got a piece of damp napkin right here to cut it up. So, First thing first, you wanna um, 
Let's cut the vegetable one first, okay? First thing first, you want to try to find the middle of it. Okay, cut it in two. Fold it like that, okay? Then you want to cut this in three, okay? All right. Just got to keep the blade a little bit moist so it's easier to cut straight through. But you have to have a sharp knife to do this, all right? So you see that? That's what I'm talking about, looking all nice. This one didn't cut through fully, so let's cut this through fully. And what I normally do with the ends, I normally put it in the middle of it like that. Ends always stay in the middle, all right? So, let's cut the tuna now. Gotta be more fragile with the tuna cook. So, okay? Yep, just like that. Then put it in two. Piece pop out, push it back in, stuff it back in like that. Yeah, then we want to cut this in three. Try to get it as even as possible. Okay? Sometimes you don't really get it even. You know, but try as much to get it even as possible. So, right here. Right there. Move this like that. This is the plate I'm going to put it in. So, first those two. Then the end cut always go in the middle, alright? End cut always in the middle like that. And just like that. Real nice. My wet napkin. Clean the table back. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Bring this back over on the table. Knife all the way. Cut yourself. Okay. Garnish. A little bit of that. Wasabi. And spicy mayo, just on the top like that. Just like uh, uh, seeds are stuck in the oven. What you can do if anything stuck in there is cut off a little piece of the tip like this, but not too much, a little piece, you know. To get it to open more, so you're more easy to work with. All right. See that now come out more easy. Yeah, put a little spicy man on the vegetarian one too. Mm -hmm. So sushi one and one, you know, easily does it. When we come up, we're gonna get into get into a picture, set it up. I'm gonna make some more off screen for my dinner. Well, see you in a bit, yeah. So yeah, sushi one on one, simple, easy does it. Take a closer look at it. You know what I say? Nice. Lovely. You know? Probably could do better with the roll. But, you know, it's what we do all day, every day. See? Very nice and lovely. This video probably won't be too long, so maybe I'm going to have to cut it in two. But we'll see after I do the edits and all that. Make it happen, alright? When we come back, we're going to do final touch. Chop, chop, chop. You already know. So yeah, we're back at it again. Finishing touch. All of that, good to go. Don't forget, tell a friend, tell a friend, subscribe to the channel. And when I say, like, share, comment, always. Respect, God and protection, peace and love. So, I'm going to sample a piece of the vegetable one, see how good it is. I'm sure it's good, but I'm still going to sample it so you guys can see me. Mm -hmm. Nice. I like mine with ginger. Pickle ginger. Mmm. Try another piece. Peace and love. That's the end of the video. Don't forget.